Detecting and patching vulnerabilities requires three main steps. First, download vulnerability definitions that allow the scanner to detect those vulnerabilities. Second, scan devices for vulnerabilities. Third, download and apply patches for the detected vulnerabilities. Click Security and Compliance, Patch and Compliance. Click the Download button. Select an update source site closest to you, either U.S. West Coast, U.S. East Coast, or Europe. You can see that Endpoint Manager supports patching vulnerabilities on Linux, Unix, Mac, and Windows operating systems. For this demo, we will focus on Windows. In the tree, click Windows, and then under that, Vulnerabilities, and Microsoft Windows vulnerabilities. By default, the downloaded vulnerabilities will be in the Scan Global folder. You should change this to Unassigned, so you can manage the ones you want to scan for more selectively later. If you scan for all vulnerabilities, it will take a while, since there are thousands. On the Patch Location tab, select where the patches are stored. This is where devices will download the patches from. By default, they download from the core server, but you can specify a different UNC path or web URL. In a production environment, you'll probably want to move these to another server. The download process will take a while if this is your first time downloading, perhaps a half hour or more. Downloads after this will be much quicker. You can schedule regular content downloads by clicking the Schedule Download button. Click Apply to apply your changes, then click Download Now. Once the download finishes, go to the Unassigned folder. Select the vulnerabilities you want to scan for and drag them into the Scan folder. In the Find box, type an application name, for example, to show just those vulnerabilities. Selecting devices in the Network view works for quick scans of a few devices, but in a production environment you'll want to create a compliance scan task that dynamically targets groups of devices based on queries or device scopes. In the Network view, select the devices you want to scan. Right-click your selection and click Security and Patch, Patch and Compliance Scan Now. A dialog box opens where you can select the Security and Patch Scan settings. These settings cover things like network bandwidth-friendly deployment options, CPU utilization on the client, maintenance windows, and end-user interaction including reboot options. The default is to use the device's current agent settings. You can override the device's agent settings temporarily by selecting a different scan setting. The Status of Requested Actions window appears and you can monitor scan status. How long the scan takes depends on things like the speed of the device, how much software is on it, and how many vulnerabilities you're scanning for. When the Results column shows the scan is complete, you can right-click the device and click Security and Patch, Security and Patch Information to see what vulnerabilities have been detected. These vulnerabilities haven't been patched yet. You need to download the necessary patches first. Right-click the patch and click Download Patch. The Downloading Patch dialog box appears showing the download status. Patches download from the Avanti source you selected in the Download Updates dialog box. Click Close when the download is done. By default, patches download to the core server's LD Logon patch folder. Once the patch is downloaded, you can right-click the vulnerability and click Repair. This starts a patch and compliance repair task. Under Targets, select the devices you want patched. Select the target type and click the Add button. Select the targets you want and then click OK. Back in the Targeted Items tree, you can see the targets you selected. Click the box next to the ones you want this task to target and click Save. The Schedule Task tool opens with the new patch compliance repair task selected. Right click that task and click Start Now. All. Monitor task progress in the Schedule Task view. Depending on the patch, users may be prompted to reboot if the patch requires it. You can also easily target pre-configured groups of devices. To create a group in the Network view, right-click in the My Devices or Public Devices groups and click New Group. In this example, I created a marketing group and added some devices to it. Now we can use that group name as a target. 
From the Patch and Compliance window, select the Scan folder. View the items in the list to ensure you have the vulnerability definitions listed that you want to scan for. If not, you can drag and drop definitions from the Unassigned folder to the Scan folder. From the toolbar, click the Create a Task icon and click Compliance Scan. There are several options here. Select Task Settings to see the task options. We will keep the default task type of Policy Supported Push, which means it will immediately scan devices that are turned on and on the network. And for those that aren't currently turned on, it will run as a policy when they turn on or connect to the network. Select Targets. There are several methods for targeting devices. In our case, we will select Targeted Device Groups, click Add, and select the Marketing Device Group that I created earlier. Click Save. We see the Compliance Scan task in the Scheduled Task tool. Right-click the task, choose Start Now and All. You can then monitor the progress of this Compliance Scan task. Now we can create a task to install multiple missing patches on multiple devices. From the Patch and Compliance window, select the Detected folder. If nothing appears in the list view on the right, you will need to run a Patch and Compliance Scan, but we've already done that. From the list view, select the vulnerabilities you would like to repair or patch. You can sort by any of the columns to find the desired set of vulnerabilities. You may also select all by pressing Alt-A. Right-click the list of selected vulnerabilities and click Download Associated Patches. From the list, select the patches that haven't been downloaded and then click Download. When this completes, close the window. Return to the Patch and Compliance tool. Be sure the vulnerabilities are still selected. From the toolbar, click the Create a Task icon and click Repair. Here you'll choose the appropriate task settings. From Repair Settings, under Add Targets, choose Add All Affected Computers. To see which vulnerabilities will be patched, click Patch List. We will leave the remaining options at their default settings. Click Save. We see the Compliance Scan task in the Scheduled Task tool. Right-click the task, click Start Now, and All. You can then monitor the progress of this repair task.